Biofuels, are they the solution or an imminent problem? First of all, what is a biofuel? Biofuel is fuel made from living things or the waste they produce. They are used for transportation. There are many different types of biofuels. Here are some examples. Ethanol, biodiesel, wood fuel, algal fuel, recycled cooking oil, and much more. So why is this topic important? Because pollution, climate change, and high oil prices have created a push for the search of an alternative source of energy. And today, the most looked to alternative is the use of biofuels. This podcast is going to focus on one type of biofuel, ethanol. Ethanol is a type of renewable, clean-burning, first-generation biofuel. It is made by fermenting the plant's sugar and starch in alcohol, and then the water is separated through distillation. To make ethanol, you can use corn, soybeans, sugarcane, or jatropha plants to create ethanol fuel. In Canada, corn and wheat are mainly used for creating ethanol. Now, the main issue surrounding the use of ethanol as a biofuel is whether or not it is actually beneficial. Now, we will start off talking about how the environment will be affected by using ethanol. Starting off with the pros. Since ethanol is made from a renewable resource, it will never run out, unlike the fossil fuels that are commonly used today. Secondly, as the corn is growing, it absorbs a lot of carbon dioxide. Thirdly, ethanol also burns cleaner, so when it is used in cars, it creates less tailpipe emissions. And fourthly, it reduces greenhouse gas emissions. Now, for the cons. Corn requires three times as much fertilizer, and the fertilizer contributes to greenhouse gas emissions. Also, ethanol is harder to transport because it cannot go through pipelines because it is corrosive and easily absorbs water. Thus, as a result, it must be transported through trucks, trains, and etc., which will end up increasing pollution. Secondly, it takes too much farmland in order to produce enough corn to produce enough ethanol for the whole country to run on. Thirdly, some countries in Asia are cutting down valuable rainforests in order to make room for the cash crop corn. And fourthly, by cutting down land and forests to make room for corn, biodiversity is greatly reduced. This monoculture of corn destroys and limits the habitats of wildlife. Next is how the society will be affected by ethanol usage, starting with the pro. First, ethanol production plants and the farmland for growing corn would provide many jobs. This would lower unemployment rate and help out many families. The cons are, with the use of ethanol, drivers would have to purchase a special fuel flex engine designed to be used with biofuels for their vehicles. Moreover, the large amount of corn used to create enough ethanol to fill a Range Rover would be enough corn to feed a person for a whole year. There is a food for fuel trade-off happening. In Haiti, Mexico, and even the US, a lot of the corn produced is being used for fuel instead of feeding the hungry. This is the main ethical issue with biofuels. Lastly is how the economy would be affected, starting with the pro. The Canadian economy would be boosted since the ethanol is made in Canada, the corn used for the ethanol is grown in Canada, and commuters in Canada would be the ones purchasing it for use. Currently, this industry is creating $1.2 billion. And the con? Since a large amount of corn is needed to create ethanol, this huge demand for corn would sharply increase the price of corn worldwide. So how does the Canadian government feel about ethanol? The government of Canada has set up four renewable fuel strategies. Number one is making them more available in retail. Number two, supporting the Canadian expansion of biofuel production. Number three, helping farmers to seize opportunities to grow corn for biofuel. And number four, funding to establish large-scale facilities to produce biofuels. An example of one the government has shown to support biofuels is by following the strategy number four. In 2010, the Canadian government funded a small-town Canadian biofuel production corporation called Iogen. They funded them $500 million to build a larger processing plant for biofuel. And according to Len Code, the Director of Environment, Energy and Transportation Policy in Canada, their study concludes that ethanol should be a part of Canada's energy mix. It is a clean transportation fuel that has a positive energy balance, 
reduces GHG emissions and contributes to energy self-sufficiency. And finally, myth number one, ethanol is great. We made this myth number one because almost all the politicians are saying that this election season. They say we must use more ethanol to help save the environment. But is it true? Ramp up the availability of ethanol by... Both Democrats and Republicans. Look at the smile. That ethanol works. The media like ethanol. It's cheaper and cleaner. 60 Minutes called it the solution. The ethanol makes a lot of sense. And the presidential candidates like it. We've got to get serious about ethanol. Get serious, they say, because ethanol is cleaner and renewable. It'll slow global warming and protect the environment. Hillary Clinton, Barack Obama, John Edwards, and Mitt Romney all want the government to subsidize the development of ethanol. The economics of ethanol make more and more sense. It makes a lot of sense. Well, if it made a lot of sense, we wouldn't have to subsidize it or mandate its consumption. Jerry Taylor at the Cato Institute points out that if ethanol were just better, as so many people say, they wouldn't need your tax money to subsidize it. If you can make a profit in this economy by putting something in the market, the government doesn't need to put a gun to your head. But ethanol is worth subsidizing, say its cheerleaders. It's made from corn. We grow corn. It's natural. Just makes it sound better. But it turns out that it takes just about as much energy to produce ethanol as you get when you burn ethanol. It takes a lot of fossil fuels to make the fertilizer, to run the tractor, to build the silo, to get that corn to a processing plant, to run the processing plant. And ethanol cannot be moved in pipelines the way gasoline is because ethanol degrades. So using ethanol means using many more big polluting trucks. To move the corn from the fields of the processing plant and then to move that corn ethanol from the Midwest to the coast. That takes a tremendous amount of energy. So much so that a number of recent studies say making ethanol uses almost as much energy as ethanol creates. Net energy balance is zero, more or less. More bad news. The increased push for ethanol has led to a sharp increase in corn growing, which means much more land must be plowed. And that means much more fertilizer, much more water must be used on farms and more pesticide. Biofuels come in different shapes, sizes, and forms, and ethanol is one type of biofuel. In Canada, it is usually made up of corn. Ethanol both benefits and hurts humans. Depending on how much you weigh each con and pro, your opinion on biofuels may vary. The Canadian government seems to like the idea. Do you?